Hi there, welcome to my channel. I'm Katja. It's great to have you with me today. As you can see, I've brought my big ball today. Some of you have been asking for another class um, with this one. So that's what we're going to do today. Make sure your ball is nice and full, so it's nice and firm. So you can always pump it up a little bit extra. And then you only need your mat and yourself and we can start. We'll start lying down on our bags. Just lie down. Feel free to place a cushion under your head if you find that more comfortable. And then we'll bring our legs over the ball. Rest your calves on top of the ball. Bring the feet together and allow your knees just to very gently open so you're nice and comfortable. Rest your hands onto your pelvis and we'll just Take a moment to really settle. Because we're working with this big ball, everything will be more unstable. So it's important that we don't rush, that we just take the time to help us feel nice and grounded. Take a nice deep breath in here. And exhaling, feel your body sinking into the ground. Let go of any tension that maybe your body's holding on that you don't need right now. One more time, inhaling. On your next exhale, start to feel the abdominals drawing down as well now. Just making that gentle connection to your deep abdominals. Inhaling, relax. And one more, exhaling. Feel the abdominals sinking down. Good. Adding on, inhale. Exhale, continue the tummy draws down. Allow the lower back to gently come to the floor. Your tailbone and your bottom curling up. We'll just do a few small little pelvic curves. You're pressing down into the ball with your calves. Inhale, release, lengthening the spine back down. Exhale, tummy draws down, lower back into the ground, tailbone, bottom curling up a little bit. Inhale, releasing. So just getting a feel for the ball. Where are you in space? You're nice and balanced, right and left side. Keeping the ball nice and still. Three more small pelvic curls. Inhale, releasing. Exhale, curl. Inhale, releasing. Exhale, curl. Just check the shoulders are nice and comfortable and you're not hiking them up to your ears. Lower down. On your next exhale, let's make this movement bigger. Start to roll your hips up higher. Good. So now your lower back, middle back are off the ground. Inhale, pause here. Exhale, roll slowly down. Now feel those glutes and hamstrings now waking up and starting to help and work. Inhale. Exhale, roll back up again. If you feel balanced enough, inhale, float your arms up. Exhale, roll slowly down. Notice maybe how sometimes we unconsciously really rely on our arms to help us. Inhale, rest your arms down. Exhale, roll up again. So taking the arms off the floor is a little more challenging for our balance. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, roll the spine slowly down and inhale, rest your arms down. Let's do three more. Exhale, curling up, glutes active, hamstrings engaged, arms up, inhale. Exhale, peel down. Inhale, rest your arms down. Breathe in. Breathe out, roll up, try and curl up through the spine. Tummy is super strong, engaged. Arms up, inhale. Exhale, melt the spine down. Vertebrae by vertebrae as much as possible. Rest your arms down. Last one. Rolling up. Feeling the back of the legs. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, come slowly down. 
and from here stay keeping your arms now you can squeeze the legs a little bit down to hold the ball breathe in breathe out rolling the legs the ball to the right left arm is going to open to the side to help you counterbalance inhale come back to the center exhale knees leaning over to the left control it from your abdominals right arm out to the side inhale come back you might find that you're not going very far because your legs might come off the ball otherwise you fall off the ball and come back and go over towards your left and closing let's do one more each side legs to the right left arm opening maybe turning the head to the left and center feeling that strong core and over with your legs to the left right arm opening and come back well done rest your arms down and now let's push that ball further away from us so that our heels our ankles are on the ball squeeze your legs together so this time the ball is further away from us it's going a little bit more wobbly now inhale exhale press down into the ball lift up your hips good really firing up those glutes now inhale here exhale come slowly down try and roll down as much as possible it's a little harder to roll with the legs out straight inhaling exhale push down into the ball squeeze your hips up good maybe testing yourself can you lift your arms up how's that going and then slowly roll back down inhale we'll just do three more nice and controlled so it's again i really like working with the ball the big one or the small one it just slows us down a little bit which is a good thing right often we're rushing through our life doing many things at the same time this way we have to really concentrate and tune in and focus on what we're doing good inhale two more to go exhale press into the ball lift up Make sure those hips are level where's that ball going is it wanting to roll off to one side testing yourself lifting the arms up slowly coming down maybe you start feeling that little burn in your hamstrings as well one more time and press down lift holding it maybe testing the arms and slowly come down good excellent make sure you're relaxing the pelvis completely down now slide your hands underneath your head inhale exhale let's imagine there was a string attached from your pelvic floor muscles to the ball so the muscles that are internally that you're squeezing up like you need to go to the bathroom and you need to squeeze up inhale as you exhale squeeze up internally roll the ball in and then right at the end of that exhale lift your head and chest forwards make sure you're not tucking your bottom now keep your bottom relaxed inhale push the ball away relax your head down exhale curling bringing the knees in towards you inhaling so think of that image of the string you're pulling on the string using the pelvic floor muscles ball comes in chest lifts inhale push it out exhale flattening the tummy so it's not a leg exercise keep your legs nice and easy inhale release three more inhale lengthening exhale curl inhale lengthening exhale curl now we're going to stay here we're coming into our double leg stretch reach your arms forwards try and lift the chest a little bit higher from here staying lifted with your chest and head inhale roll the ball away sweep your arms back exhale sweep the arms around roll the ball in inhale try and roll the ball on a straight line and exhale inhale arms legs out 
exhale everything back to the center. Last two. Breathe in and breathe out. Inhale, exhale. Hands behind the head. Breathe in. From here, with your left foot, push the ball away. Right knee stays in tabletop. Turn your chest towards your right leg. Inhale, roll the ball in, switch the feet. Push the ball away with your right foot, twist towards your left bend leg. And so we keep going. Our crisscross variation with our ball today. So you've got one foot on the ball, pushing the ball away. The other leg bend, twist towards that leg. Hips stay absolutely still. Try and roll the ball as much as you can on a straight line. Next time you're back, facing towards your right leg, stay here. Keeping the chest in the oblique curl and we're just going to switch the legs. So just alternating the feet whilst you're staying in your oblique curl. Last one. Good. Come back through the center. Turn your chest towards your left leg. Curl forwards, forwards, forwards. Right leg goes out. In, out. In, press it out. In. Four more. Good. Last one. Well done. Come back to the center. Relax all the way down. Release. Good. Hope that went well for you. We're going to extend the legs back out again. Should feel really nice. And then this time, a little more challenge for balance, cross your left ankle over your right leg. Okay. Now if that puts any pressure on the bottom knee, repeat with both legs next to each other. Okay. Otherwise, left leg on top. Tap those arms nice and close, squeezing your inner thighs together, inhale, exhale. We're going to try and lift our hips up again. Still trying to have those hips level, good. Squeezing up, hold it, inhale, exhale, slowly coming down. Good, and you might find one day you practice this and it's going really, really well. And another day for no explanation, it's really wobbly, right? Sometimes that's just how it goes. So practice patience for yourself, for your body. Every day is a little bit different. Lift up and come down. So the bottom leg is the more stronger working leg now. We'll just do one more on this side and up. Good. Test yourself. Can you lift the top leg up? Hold it. Hold it. Not leaning into your arms too much. Lower the leg down and slowly come back down. Yes, well done. Let's try the other side. Right? And if you fall off your ball, it's okay. You just get back on again. It's okay. Let's try. So make sure the ball is right in the center. A good starting point. Inhale, exit, squeeze the legs together, sit bones drawing close together. Up we go. Hips level. Oh, maybe one side is more wobblier than the other. Hold and slowly peel down. Inhale, release. Exit, squeezing the legs together, roll up. Finding that balance as much as you can and slowly come back down. We got one more. We won't do too many. Slowly up again. Lift and see if possible to lift the top leg up. Bottom leg is holding you up. Bring the leg back down. And slowly come back down. Great. Bend your knees and just hug the knees in towards you. 
to release. Okay, now keeping that ball nice and close to you, feet, hip distance, more or less, wrapping around the ball. Good. Now for this next one, if at any point you get a cramp, don't suffer, just come down, stretch out and then join in again. Okay, this is going to be strong on our hamstrings. Arms next to you, breathe in, breathe out. Again, we're going to hold that ball in place and we are going up again. Because your legs are bent and the ball is closed, you probably can go up much higher than in the straight-legged versions. Hold it at the top, inhale. Exhale, roll slowly down. Curl slowly down. Inhale. Again, exhale, you're going to roll up slowly, keeping that ball nice and steady. Pressing, again, maybe testing, arms off the floor, maybe arms stay down, and slowly come back down. Release your arms down if they're up. Inhale, exhale, roll up again. Feel those hamstrings. This time, let's try. Well, up here, we inhale, push the ball away. Exhale, roll it back in. Inhale, push it away. Any amount, you don't have to go all the way. Exhale, bring it in. Inhale, press away. Exhale, in. Can we do one last one? Those hamstrings are burning. Press your hips up in case your hips went down like mine just did. And slowly come back down. Ooh, good. Stretch out those legs. Now I'm hoping my ball is not rolling off. Stretch your legs out. Well done. We got one last one here. Good. So this time we're going to go... In the dance world, this is like a second position. You're going to turn your knees out and you're wrapping your calves, your knees, the whole leg around the ball, okay? From here, we're going to really feel this in our inner thighs. So from here, we're going to lift the hips up. We're going to extend the legs and we're squeezing those legs into the ball. Your toes are pointing out to the side. Your glutes are firing. Inhale. Exhale, come down on the way down, bend the knees again. And it feels like the ball is coming closer to you. Inhale, exhale, lifting the hips up, toes pointing out, squeeze. You feel those inner thighs waking up, hold and slowly come down and soften the knees. Let's keep that going. Just three more and up you go. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Press into the ball and come down. Release. Inhale. Exhale up. Shake those hips are nice and level. You're straight. And slowly come down. Last one. You can do this. And up. And come back down. Good. Let's bring the knees one more time towards the chest. Good. And then we can push that ball slightly forwards. We're going to rock ourselves up to sitting. Bring the legs on either side of the ball. And let's just give ourselves a really nice stretch. You don't need to go to your maximum stretch. Maybe a little wriggle side to side, stretching out those legs. And then roll yourself up. Great. From here. We're going to practice our roll downs holding our ball. So stretch your legs out. Now park your ball on your feet, give your feet a little stretch. And with that C curve, stretch forwards. Be careful your head is not hanging down too much, but almost feel the head is just slightly above your arms. So we keep a good alignment of our neck from here. Inhale. Exhale. Slide your hands down to the side of the ball. You're going to roll yourself down. Now, if you're worried about going all the way down, you can go halfway down and come up from there. Roll it down, reach your arms back in here. Careful not to arch. We're not resting the ball here. Take the ball up, roll yourself back up, ball onto your legs, and as if you're gently rolling it forwards. Remember the head alignment 
not to let the head hang forwards too much. Again, roll it down, take the ball with you, curl, stretch it back, mindful not to arch the back, and roll back up, roll the ball forwards, and stretch it over your feet. Good. From here, I'm going to add something in the middle. We're going to sit up as straight as possible. Pick up the ball, lift it up, feeling your spine stretching, and then turning your chest towards the right side. Inhale, center, spine twist over to the left. Inhale, center, and I'm bringing the ball in front of you and roll it down. So we're just adding our spine twist in the middle. Inhale, reach the ball back, control it. Exhale, roll up. First, we'll stretch forwards, ball onto the feet, stretching over, keep scooping the abdominals back. Then we roll up the spine vertical, stretching the arms up in here. Exhale, spine twist towards the right. Inhale, center, spine twist to the left. Inhale, center, exhale, roll down. If you want to keep the ball up, that's going to make your roll down more interesting. If you want to, too. Inhale, stretch back. This is our last one. Exhale, roll up. One more time, stretch forwards over the feet. Inhaling, exhale, come back, last twist, reach the ball up tall, and twist, inhale, center, and exhale, twist, and center, release the ball down, good, one more seated here, now open the legs out wider, this is our saw with the ball. Flex your feet now. Feel free to fold up your mat to sit a little bit higher. So from here, we're going to take the right arm out to the side, the right arm sweeps back, left hand on top of the ball, roll the ball towards your right foot, stretch towards your right leg, and bring yourself up. Switching sides, right hand onto the ball, left arm reaches back, stretch over, the left leg and come back and just make it a nice fluid movement enjoying that stretch inhale and exhale breathe in and breathe out inhale and exhale and come back to the center Okay, moving on. Let's come around into a kneeling position. So we'll take the ball in front of us. Now make sure you start right back on your mat because we're going to go forward. So we need some space out in front of us. Bring the ball right underneath you here. Lean yourself on it and then start to walk yourself out forwards until the ball is under your pelvis. Good. Shoulders away, maybe micro bend in the elbow, draw the tummy in. Legs are parallel. We're going to do our hamstring curves here. Bend the right leg, kick, kick, and extend the leg. Now almost think as if you're trying to lift the leg, other leg, and then kick, kick, and extend. Kick, kick, and extend. If you can, flex, flex, point the toes on the way down. Kick, kick, point the toes down. Kick, kick, and down. So try and lift. Keep the tummy lifted so we're not dipping into our lower spine. To feel those hamstrings working. Last two. Inhale, exhale, and extend. Good. From here, slowly, can you bend the elbows? You might not get all the way down. And come back up. Keep the ball as still as possible. Bending the elbows. 
shoulders drawing down the ribcage and lift up triceps, bending, squeeze the elbows towards each other so they're pointing backwards, they're not going out to the side and come back up, three more to go. Careful again not to collapse in your center. Last one. Excellent. Push yourself back and just come into a nice relaxing position of the ball, literally just hanging out over it. Okay, well done. Come up again. Now I'm going to shift even further back. We're going to now come forwards again. And we'll move a little further forward so the ball is going to end up more towards our thighs and our knees for our pike movement. So have the ball right in front of you, lean over it and then start to walk yourself all the way forwards. The further the ball goes down, the more challenging it will be. So I'm going to start with the ball here under the knees. You can always adjust yourself. Nice strong arms. Inhale. Exhale, bend your knees, pike your hips up, roll the ball in, look towards your knees and then extend, finding your long plank again. Try and again, roll the ball in on a straight line. Notice if you have a tendency to move the ball side to side a little bit, extend out nice and long and again, bending, tucking in. Release the head forwards and lengthening and bending into that pike and extend. Last one. Just take your time, control it and extend. Good. And then coming out, that's probably even more challenging to walk back without falling off the ball. <laughs> Come all the way back. Good, let's take a stretch in our child's pose. Now you can always do the hands on the floor if you prefer, or hands on the ball, and just stretching yourself out nice and long. Give the shoulders a nice stretch. And then roll yourself all the way back up. Now we're going to do some side work. So let's kneel once more going to turn facing towards you. So if I mirror you and you place the ball against your left side. Now again, a little bit tricky getting into position. Make sure you lengthen your tail down. You have the front of the hips nice and long and then slowly lean into the ball. We can rest this hand down for now, depending on how big your ball is on your proportions. If your hand can touch, touch it down. Otherwise, just hold your ball here. The top leg is stretched out nice and long. And then this hand, you can have it here, holding the ball. Or you can take your arm for today out to the side, okay? So either hand, the bottom hand on the ball, or you can have the fingertips just touching. Okay, from here, we're just going to lift our straight leg up and tap the toes down. Think about the body really nice and long, extend it on your side, lift it up and tap and lift and tap and up and down and lift and down up and down couple more lift and down and lift and down good now let's change the position of this arm either hand towards the head or holding on to your ball. From here, lift the leg up, rainbow leg, tap it forwards, lift it up and over and tap it back. Up and over forwards and up and over back. Try and keep the rest of your body and the ball as still as possible. Very good. And if you're feeling that leg is starting to get heavy, then yes, mine is too. Keep breathing. Last one. Good. Bring the leg all the way down. Plant your heel down. And we're just going to give ourselves a nice stretch over that ball. 
Good, we've got one more for the waist. So lift yourself up. We might have to just adjust a little bit. So now we're going to bring the hand towards the head, support the head. This arm back up into the diagonal. And this might be just a small movement and this is absolutely fine. You will feel this working. Inhale, exhale, lifting up, working the top waist. Inhale, come slowly down with control. Exhale, lift, reach your fingertips out and come slowly back down. And again, lift, beautiful strong waist and up and low. And if you're starting to shake a little bit, that's okay. Good. Can we do three more? Last one, and release, fantastic, good. Come and bring yourself all the way up. And again, a side reaching child's pose to give your body stretch. You can always put your hands down to the floor and do this stretch without the ball. Stretch it out. Great, let's do the other side. So let's come over, put the ball against the other hip. Make sure you're lengthening the front of the hips. So we don't want to start with our hips going backwards. And then here, do make sure you feel balanced and you're in a good position to start with. So bottom arm, if you can reach the floor, you can place your fingertips down or you can hold onto the ball. The top arm either on the ball or arm out. Inhale, nice and long through the spine. When you're ready, start lifting the top leg and lower it down. Lengthen up and tapping down lightly. Exhale, inhale, lower. Exhale the movement with the most effort. Inhale, lower. Keeping going. Good. Imagine you're getting longer and expanding in all directions. Good, one more. Good, top hand, let's change it. Either bring it to the ball if it's not there or hand behind the head, rainbow leg. Tap the leg forwards, up and over, take it back. Keep the ball as still as you can. I know it wants to roll forward and backwards to balance out the leg movement, but we'll try and keep steady and steady, stable. Good, and if your leg is starting to feel heavy, Yes, so it is. Mine is very heavy now. Keep going. Last one. Good, well done. Relax your foot down, check your leg is in line with your body now, and then give yourself a nice big stretch over, release. Bring yourself back up. So, Make any adjustments now for our waist. So from here, bottom hand to the head, top arm out onto the diagonal. Inhale, exhale. The waist is going to contract the obliques. Lift, reach with your hands straight out to the side. Inhale, lower yourself back down. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower back down. Exhale, lift. Inhale, come back down. Exhale, lift. And down. Good. We have four to go. Nearly there, last two. And release. Good. Come off that ball, give yourself a nice stretch. Child's pose, reaching out to the side. Nice stretch. Well done. Okay, good. Coming one more time back to kneeling. So one more exercise here for our backs now. So have the ball again nice and close. Tuck your toes under. And then all we're going to do is just leaning on top of the ball here. Keep your knees down for today. 
your arms as if you are hugging your ball. Inhale. Exhale, start sliding the shoulders down. And I want you to imagine your arms are beautiful wings. Opening your wings out to the side, rolling the chest open, stretch your arms back, turn the thumbs facing back, go as far as feels comfortable, and then melt yourself back over the ball. Inhale. Exhale, leaning into that ball, open the arms. You come up as far as feels good for your back, stretch your arms back, back, back. Feel the shoulder blades squeezing a little bit together and release back down. And let's do three more of these. Stretching out our back. Reach. And come back down. Hopefully that feels really good, particularly if you may be sitting a lot working on the computer to lengthen that front body. And come back down. Here's your last one, and lift up, open the arms, stretch, and melting forwards. Relax, rest over the ball, relax everything, and then make your way slowly back. And from here, we'll come all the way around, still on the back of your mat, sitting on your ball. Good. And then in this position, we're going to walk, walk your feet forwards until the ball is under our middle back and upper back. Bring your hands behind your head. Make sure you feel in the center, you feel steady. Good. Now let your hips dip down a little bit. Inhaling, lift the chest forwards. Exhale, like a seesaw, lift your hips up and at the same time, lean your chest back. Your head might rest on the ball, it might not. Use your hands to support it. Letting your hips come down. Curl the head and chest gently forwards, feeling the front body engaged. Exhale, lift up your hips and lean back. Nice and long, feel your glutes switching on. Press your hips up. One more time, coming down. Just a little bit, not all the way, and lift your hips up. Make sure the knees in line with your toes. Just one more here. And hips go up, lift up your chest. Now you can always stick with this movement, or this next one will just simply make this movement bigger. So now as if you're squatting down, let the hips come forwards and down close to your heels. Reach your arms out, and from here, you give yourself the biggest stretch. Your legs might be bent or they might straighten all the way. Give yourself a full stretch over that ball. Big circle. Careful with your head as you lift and then squat forwards again, rolling the ball forwards. And again, stretch it out. Try and engage your glutes and hamstrings still to have that support. Stretch yourself out really long. Circle the arms around, lift the head and come forwards. Good. One more time. Stretch. You don't have to go all the way. You can keep your knees slightly bent. So always, always listen to your body so it feels good. And here's your last one. And lovely big stretch. Stretch it out, 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 out and bring yourself all the way forwards. And then one more time, let's make it a challenge. How can we come up from this position gracefully? Sit yourself all the way back onto the board. Good. Now just sitting here and just feel your body for a moment. Feel your back, feel your spine, the shoulders. Maybe feeling the front of the body. And then we'll finish with a nice simple side stretch here. Take one arm up to the sky. And just a nice simple side stretch over. Inhale, lift. And exhale, switch. Here the ball can move a little bit. Inhale up. And exhale, reach. Inhale, lift. And exhale, reach. Come through the center, float your arms all the way down. Good. 
great work done for today, working with our big ball. I hope you enjoyed the challenge and see you hopefully next time. Have a wonderful day. Until next time. Bye for now.